Hey guys, how's it going? Be live here. Sorry about that last video. I actually had to edit it because I went too long. I had to take out some of the beginning and I had to, to take out some of the end. Now I'm back to actually holding it with my arm and lost my director slash cameraman roommate cool cat Bruce. But hey, I can take care of this. I think I can handle it. So basically I'm going to take these curry kale chips. I'm going to put them into the dehydrator. This is, these are on a Teflex sheet, as you can see. This is a Teflex sheet that all of Excaliburs come with. Now, the, I have a sausage maker commercial dehydrator. So I'm going to leave them on the Teflex sheet for about probably about four to six hours until they're dry enough to, to flip over onto this grill. With a dehydrator that has the poly screen, like the, the Excalibur, just flip onto that and let it dehydrate for about, I would say about six, eight hours on the poly screen or on the grill and then flip it over again and let it dry until it's either like a leather, like a jerky or a chip. You know, of course, you need to go longer for chips. I like both textures. It just depends on the mood. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm not there. Once I get to the... Sometimes it just doesn't make it to chip. <laughs> sometimes it barely makes it even to being dry whatsoever. So, this recipe was really phenomenal. I just made it right here with you. And it's it tastes really good. You're going to love this. You can use, instead of the coconut syrup you can use agave or raw honey you can use maple syrup you could use a little date water of course if you use date water you're gonna to have to be more careful on the actual liquid that's going into it or if you use dates soaked dates you have to make sure you add a little more water maybe a little more salt maybe a little more spice just to make sure you know because you want it to be about this thickness of sauce it's gonna be hard. It's kind of hard to capture that, but you want it to be like, like that, you know. So it so it sticks to the keel, and um, but yeah, enjoy this recipe, please. What I was sharing at the beginning of the last video, that got edited out, I was basically saying saying that I have been blending most of my food. I've been drinking a lemon ginger blast, the advanced version, with my own twist on it, every day. Um, you can go on to Dan the Man's channel, the Life Regenerator YouTube channel, and he has a bunch of different versions of the lemon ginger blast. And I have to apologize. The other day when Lou Corona and I were teaching a class and we got a little bit of his insights and wonderful knowledge captured, we were getting the lemon ginger blast, but then I started run, running out of time, so we didn't get to finish it. So definitely go to Dan the Man, the Life Regenerator's channel, to get the lemon ginger blast. And he has different versions as well. So I've been doing that. I've been making the common, I've been, excuse me, I've been making the coconut and or almond. I think you can see why I got common out of, out of coconut or and almond. So, <laughs> okay. What can I say? So I've been making that every day, culturing it with a with the protolytic probiotic from NCP. You can also get that at Dan the Man, the Life Regenerators. He definitely provides the natural choice products, NCP products, the probiotics, the enzymes, amazing stuff. So I've been culturizing, making coconut and or almond yogurt every day, throwing it into superfood smoothie or superfood soup with like just herbs and just amazing, just incredible products with my enzymes, been taking my digestive enzymes with every meal. So it's important. I've been noticing a big difference. I've been doing my cellular extra exercise. Once again, I was going to say sexual exercise, but cellular exercise is almost like sexual exercise. <laughs> I throw that in sometimes, you know. I got a beautiful, wonderful woman in my life. I love you, Oshun. <laughs> but I've been throwing the cellular exercise in. I've been doing the rebounding. I've been, been doing deep breathing, breathing exercises. And I've been doing swimming a little bit. So all lymphatic stimulating exercises. 
yoga, brisk walking. I make sure to at least get 20 to 30 minutes of one or one or more of those every day. And and with my food, you know, I make this incredibly scrumptious, like full, complete, like meals and recipes, cuisine wise. But recently, I've been e- eating most of my food blended or processed. So I take like even when I'm going to a raw restaurant, I take it and I have them take the final product and send it back to the kitchen to have them put in a food processor to blend it up. I had half of my stomach removed when I was 12. I have teeth issues, so chewing isn't the best issue, and my digestion isn't the best. So to do this, it just makes it more optimal for me. Of course, I still have my kale chips. Of course, I still have my yummy, scrumptious food in its actual form. Um, Of course, when I eat out at restaurants, I still have a little bit of their stuff, but but I have been leaning towards food processing and blending up even when I'm doing that. So you should try it. It actually brings out the flavors in the foods even more. When I when I go to, let's say, Better Life and I have the Be Live wrap and all of a sudden I say, hey, can you take this and put it in the food processor and they bring it back all mushed up? Well, it tastes even better. When I was at Olak and I had like some of the 